Have you ever wondered what it's like to break into consulting from a law background? Well, we've got a lot of really great insights on this because we've worked with hundreds of lawyers over the last couple of years to break into consulting. And we work with people at two stages in their law careers. First of all, folks that are going through the law training process in law school. We're thinking about an alternative to law. They've seen a light, had an epiphany, discovered that the practice of law isn't going to be their dramatic lifetime desire. And so they are looking for other options. And the second time is after someone has practiced for a couple of years, usually somewhere between two and eight years, and is either at the nearly partner level or thinking about maybe making a switch more permanently over into consulting. A couple factors that you need to think about. First of all, when you're in law school, it's a great alternative to law when you go into consulting, especially early on. You have the benefit of having an MBA level salary, but only three years of school experience and really no major work experience. So coming in from just a law background gives you actually a leg up pretty early on in your career. If you graduate from law school, on average, when you're 25 or maybe 26, if you took a gap year, then you're starting in general in consulting about two to four years earlier than most people are when they're graduating from your MBA. So you're gonna roll up the pay scale, roll up the promotion scale a lot faster. And then if you wanna leave and go into industry, you're gonna get there faster as well. So major accelerant to your career if you go in from a law background. Also, if you're a lawyer, you're kind of a special prized possession. You're usually great at oration, amazing at persuasion, and some of the tactics that really help people advance inside consulting, really beneficial. One thing that you have to be aware of, however, consulting and law are totally different and the skills that you used about 60% of the time in consulting, you're spending in Excel. You're not spending that when you're normally in law. So you're gonna use a different skill set, and not everyone is suited to it. So just be aware of that. If you're thinking about going through the consulting recruitment process, make sure that you reach out to us. We've got a lot of insights on how to go through it effectively. And we have, again, a lot of ways that we could definitely help if you're thinking about going through it at the law school level. Now, in the experienced higher land, you have all kinds of upside if you go into consulting. Most people will go into consulting for two to three years. A few of them will stay on to partner, but a lot of them at that point are ready to leave professional services and wanna go in-house into more leadership positions where they have power, authority, and a large P&L to manage. And you get that when you work in consulting. So you can transfer over from your law degree to a role in a consulting firm, usually as an engagement manager, and then you'll roll out from there into industry, often as a P&L manager. You've often had the benefit of having a lot more work experience. You have managed people. You've seen a lot of different industries, and many firms will hire you based on the work experience in industry that you've had historically. They're going to hire you more as an expert than as somebody who's bringing specific skills to the table. Because of that, you have a lot to offer. You'll get a very high salary when you move over into consulting, and then you'll have a lot of upside either in consulting or also later on. So it's a choice between one type of professional services into another, and the two fields are really different, but consultants prize lawyers and you have a lot of opportunity to move over. Again, if you have questions about moving over into the consulting space, we would love to help. And any of y'all can reach out to us at any time by commenting on this video. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can reach out to us on social or directly at managementconsulted.com. Thanks for watching.